welcome to my channel today topic is milan distress from the solid state physics so first let's start what is the meaning of milan distress so milan distress this is uh, this name is given by the from the scientist according to his name that is your william hallows miller first thing it is used to specify direction and planes in crystal second one it is based on three numbers three h k l miller provided the method of reflexing reflexing the set of parallel planes having having same interplanar spacing and orientation by a point which is milan distance basically three point will will find here the three points that is hkl so now we can start how we can find out the miller indices so for that things for that things so we will first draw a plane this is the plane this side i am taking the x this side y and this side z so for this one this one the intercepts are the intercepts are here the coordinates points are for this one this is how i can then this plane this plane then one which i have done here this one this plane this plane has the x is equal to 1 y right it has the infinity and z right it has the infinity so we get the three points one infinity and infinity so first we have to find out the reciprocal a reciprocal so reciprocal of this is 1 by 1 this is 1 by infinity and this is also 1 by infinity so this value will get here this is your 1 this is 0 and this is 0 so this is your miller indices the value will get here it is your the miller indices 100 100 we are not we are not reading this is 100 this is 100 okay for this plane for this plane okay for another things there is
this side the intercepts are x this is y and this is your z ok so here I will take the points on 2 this is 1 2 3 this is 1 2 ok so suppose I am taking here this side the 2a and this side I will take 3b and this side I will take the 2c so how we can find out this is ok so this plane suppose you are able to find this is 0 how can find out the Miller indices of this type of so here here the points are uh, x intercept x intercept it is 2a y intercept it is 3b z intercept it is 2 here for the x axis it is the 2a intercept and y axis is 3b intercept and z axis is 2 intercept so uh, there are and 2a 2b and uh, 2a 3b and 2c 2a 3b and 2c these are the intercepts intercepts now this 2 3 and 2 this 2 3 and 2 this is called the coefficient this is your coefficient so it's reciprocal you can find out a reciprocal so reciprocal a reciprocal of this one you get the value 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 2 so now how how we can find out million indices now I multiply because common numbers are there common numbers so we can find out the LCM of 2 3 2 and the common number we have to multiply best you have to multiply the integer uh, LCM so 2 3 2 in uh, its LCM is 6 so 1 by 2 into 6 1 by 3 into 6 1 by 2 into 6 so now we will get this is 3 this is 2 and this is your 3 so this the value which you will get 3 to 3 so mi of this plane mi of this plane that is a million indices of this plane is equal to 3 to 3 so this is the way we have to find out the million indices of the this type of plane also ok next ok now suppose suppose the plane half intercept one infinity infinity two infinity infinity three infinity infinity suppose these are the planes and these are these are set of parallel planes x has the intercept that is your one y has the intercept this one will take so y y planes have uh, another plane have that two so here we can take the this infinity this infinity is your y intercept the last one that is your z z that is also the infinity so one one infinity and infinity this is your x y and z so for this one reciprocal you have to find out reciprocal so reciprocal of this one is equal to 1 by 1 uh, 1 by infinity 1 by infinity so we will get the value that is 1 0 0 so this 1 0 0 you will get this is the mi Miller indices for this one has 1 0 0 so the different type of lens we have and these are the parallel to each other so how we can find out here this is the taking by x y and z
suppose you take on the x axis So these are the different planes here I have drawn here. These are the different planes. So this is for the x axis and this is for the y. And this is for the z axis. And this origin point is this origin point which we have taken. This is a zero. So how we can find out here? So this point, this plane has intercept uh, infinity, half infinity, and this is your uh, infinity. This plane. Uh, infinity this is your 2 by 2 and infinity and the third one this one this third one this third one has this your infinity 3 by 2 infinity suppose this is given to you so how we can find out this one so here also same as I have told you x axis this is from the one plane that is for x we can find out this one x to infinity and for this one y 2 by 2 for the z this is your infinity so this value will come equal to reciprocal so reciprocal again you have to find out reciprocal this is your 1 by infinity for the x for y 1 by 1 and for this one 1 by infinity the value will come the value will, will get this one as 0 1 and 0 so this 0 1 which will get so mi is your 0 1 0 so here 0 represents h 1 represents k and again 0 represents the uh, l this th three points in h k and l Okay, this is for the uh, one type of another type of the planes. Suppose, okay, suppose for the another planes, it's for the uh, negative, with your minus, if the axis is minus in negative side, so how I can draw this one. This plane which I have, this plane which we are drawing, this is your uh, negative plane. The, this plane which is x, 0, y, and z. So, this type of plane which we are getting here, this plane has the uh, x axis negative side, so it will be the bar on this 0, 0. Similar indices of this one as the zero because for y axis we are we will get the infinity and for the z axis infinity so reciprocal will get that is your uh, zero zero so the mirror indices of this plane so directly then that is one bar then zero zero this is the mi of this one this plane if there is the planes are there and we have the mirror indices two planes of the mirror indices and they have the distance between them is t suppose the distance between them has the d so how we can what is the distance will how we can find out the value of the distance let's we have to find out okay for that things we'll again take x axis x axis this side will take y axis and this side take will z axis so first things we'll have to find out the different points a 
my V and this side will take the plus V. So we'll combine this, make this plane. Okay. Okay. So this is the plane. So for this plane, there is another one plane, and this that plane is parallel to this one. So I will take the another another. Uh, plane. This is the point two. From that distance, there is uh, another plane. This is another plane. Okay. This point is O N. So, O n is the distance between the two parallel planes. Okay. So, two planes we have that is the A, B, C, and that is your another, uh, another side that is from back side there is another plane are there, and the distance between they are, them is O n, and this is the distance D. D O n has the distance, O n has the distance D. Okay. So A side, it is your A by H. B side, this is your B by K. And this side, this is your from zero to C, Z axis that is your uh, C by L. So three distance are there: A by H, B by K, and C by L. And O N is your distance. Okay. So, A coordinates has A coordinates has coordinates A coordinates A that is your A by H zero zero. Then B coordinates zero. B by K zero, C coordinate zero zero and C by L. Okay, three coordinate points are there for the ABC. There are three coordinate points. So O N is perpendicular to ABC planes. O N that is your that is D is perpendicular to ABC planes. A B C plane is perpendicular. Okay, so D has this distance D. What is the distance of between the two parallel planes? D has this is the formula A by H square plus K square plus L square root over. Okay, this is the formula. So this is the formula of the Distance d, as this is the cubic system, or the cubic system, cubic system, a equal to b equal to c, because the value are same. The for the cubic system a b c, so the distance is equal to d is l square plus k square plus l square root over. So this is the clear fundamental ideas about the Miller indices. Here we are able to know what is the meaning of Miller indices. How we can find out the Miller indices point? What is H K L? What is the distance between two planes? How we can find out for this distance d? So for the different planes, we are able to get the Miller indices. Okay, thank you for watching this video.